Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you have an amazing day today. So we have an update from Miss Wendy Williams. As you guys know, I have been um, posting a lot regarding this lawsuit against Wells Fargo. Um, they were trying to say that she was not mentally able to take care of herself or her finances and froze her accounts however she has bills to pay she has you know staff to pay and everything else so she needs access to her money and they were trying to you know set things up as though she may need a conservative ship and that she wasn't well she couldn't walk she had dementia she had all of these things to where she could never come back to tv she could never come back to her talk show and they had just announced that Sherry Shepard would be the permanent guest host of the Wendy Williams show for the rest of the season and there was other articles that I had reported on about all of these white executives that have moved into the Wendy Williams show that are completely missing the cultural um, impact of Wendy Williams and the audience being a predominantly black audience that they are you know shooing in all of these white guest hosts who have no connection to you know the format of what wendy williams does best on her show had white guest hosts such as michael rapaport for during black history month and leah remini who is they're trying to test for her own show but wendy williams you know said you know what they're talking about me let me give them something to talk about and what happened was her son um, filmed her and she is on the beach in Florida she looks good she sounds good she feels good and she has some things that she wants to say on a new personal Instagram page so I am going to without further ado turn the video over to Miss Wendy Williams herself so you can see and you can hear her for yourself and then I will react Mom, how you doing? Hi. How's your morning going? Um, it's just after eight o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm doing okay. You know, beautiful sky. It's how, nice being here. How often do you come out here? Well, I'm here in Florida, and I come here uh, often. You know, I've got real family. You know mother father sister brother family 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 and um it's very peaceful being here you know yeah. look at this oh, so beautiful. Beautiful. it seems windy because it is <laughs> is it always like this or is it usually warmer uh it's usually no it's not usually warmer it's still winter it usually gets up to they say 80 degrees but i haven't gone to run in it i i don't want to do all of that um and then in a couple of hours i go to my gym are you working out after this yeah oh wow it is Excuse me, you know that I work out all the time, even though you don't come with me. I go on my own. No, but I didn't think you go this early in the morning. I just thought you just go whenever you feel like it. No, I like to go early because after I work out, you know, I, I get tired. I want to, you know, take a shower again. And then I like to lay down, watch TV. I get on the phone and call friends and family. And some business. I do call business affairs. Right, right. Okay. And, uh, you know, back at the apartment. That's where we live here. You, that's where he lives here. <laughs> right. Thanks to me. All right. Well, um, all right, so after this, we're going to go work out. Yeah. Do you have anything else planned for today, or you're just going to go um, Just relax. I think that's it, you know. Uh, you're taking a break from everything, really. Yeah. Well, no, it's not a break. I do this all the time. This is... It, it, I'm talking about more so like a break from like New York. So. Yeah, this is a break from New York. New York is fast paced, which I love. Yeah. You know, um, I love, I love here in Florida as much as I do New York. But they are two very different things and people. Uh, but New York is my heart, and this is Florida's beautiful place. You know, beautiful, regular. 
sometimes weird in a good way. Aren't we all weird in a good way? <laughs> so, speaking of speaking of that, you know, a lot of people have been wondering, like, you know, what you've been up to, and they've been, you know, sending their prayers out and everything. What do you have to say to those people just, like, thinking that you're up to whatever it is? Like, what do you have to say to them? You say prayers and think about me? Really? Well, thank you. Yeah, so everyone's praying about you. Thank you. I want to make sure that you're coming back strong. Uh, excuse me. I am going back stronger, you know. Oh, okay. Admittedly so, at 56 years old. Uh, there are things that happen to people. You gotta I'm, let them know. I would say things usually start about 40, and they go up from there. Yeah. You know, so you gotta, you gotta eat the right food. I don't, I'm not gonna go out to eat. Kevin, I don't want to go out to eat today. I want to order the food, bring it in, make sure that, that it's already ready so all I have to do is heat it up, okay? All right, but I'm I used to cook. You. When I was a kid, I used to cook, you know, when I was married and we lived, you know, with our son in, in uh, you know, New Jersey. But now um, I strictly get food brought in. And it's vegan, it's vegetarian. And, and isn't one of your favorite foods that I bring in the acai bowl? Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. I do like that. I like regular stuff too, though. But I don't eat a lot of it. And when I do, I usually, I think I told you this. I'll take one or two bites of a real cheeseburger, a real hamburger, a real steak. And then I take one or two bites and then throw it away. And I'm good. Um, the other food is really good. But it's crazy to think that you get skinny because you eat fake food. Or right. that 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 vegetarian vegan right, 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 right. It's, it's not there are plenty of people who eat that kind of food and they're fat they go through health problems um i mean everybody's got issues don't we yeah it's about taking everything in moderation right yeah everything in moderation i like i like the height that i am um you know at 56 a lot of times people start to hunch over right and they become taller so it's very important you know, I, like I want to be all I can be and then get back to New York and get on down with the Wendy Williams show. How'd you do? <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to let you continue your walk. Okay. All right, and I'm, I'm going to check in with you later. Okay. Um, look, leave me alone. Now you go back and I'll walk back. Okay? All right, all right, see you. So as you guys can see, Wendy Williams, she looks good. She sounds good. She looks healthy. She looks like she is, you know, in a place of, you know, de-stressing in, um, you know, beautiful Florida, Sandy Beach. Her son's asking her questions. Um, you know, Wendy looks lucid. She looks alert. She looks oriented. She looks like she knows what is happening. She doesn't look like somebody who they are trying to depict in the media as somebody who is um, incapable of caring for themselves, incapable of doing for themselves, incapable of, you know, taking care of their finances, paying their bills, being a mother, being a daughter, being a sister. She said she is down there with her family. She is talking about some of the nice restaurants, her favorite restaurants. Her son is talking about, you know, they've been going, they've alluded basically that they've gone out to eat quite a bit, but in particular today, she wants her son to pick her up some carry out so that way she can just heat it up um right away and eat it and so you know she said everything's in moderation she said that there's people who are vegetarians and vegans who are fat or who are overweight and everything's all about moderation and that's what her son was repeating and how you know she was talking about how sometimes she'll eat a full burger she'll eat a steak and she'll take like a bite or two and then she throws the rest out um, and then she said after this, which she was walking pretty, you know, briskly, you know, against this um, Sandy Beach here in Florida. And she said she was going to work out after this. And, you know, her son was like, really, you're going to go work out for this? I think he knew, but, um, you know, they're filming or whatever. And so, you know, yeah, she said she's going to go work out. You know, she said once you get over 40, there's things that change, but she doesn't want to be, you know, hunkered over 
and she wants to remain healthy and optimal shape and everything else. And then, you know, the main thing was she wants to get back to New York. She said she loves New York. She loves how fast paced it is, but she loves doing this. She said she takes tons of time, you know, usually in Florida. Boy, obviously, we all know this is due to a different, you know, set of circumstances here. And, you know, at the conclusion of the video, she, you know, there was and ask if, if there's anything that, you know, they want Wendy Williams to tell the fans, to tell the people. And, you know, she said, you know, thoughts and prayers to keep praying for her, to keep, you know, keep her in your well wishes. And, you know, she wants to get back to the Wendy Williams show. Out of her own mouth, her own words, nobody is manipulating her. Nobody is, you know, reading, having her read from a script or a teleprompter. This is all Wendy Williams. This is authentic Wendy Williams. And to me, she looks like somebody who is ready to get back to work. She looks like whatever treatment she is having for her Graves disease and whatever else she has that is going on, she looks to be in optimal shape and optimal health. It always felt sus to me that they were putting all these reports out there about her, trying to make her sound worse than she was. It was reminding me of the Britney Spears stuff where you couldn't, you know, she didn't seem like herself, but we didn't know it was because there was other factors at play here where certain people were keeping her medicated or keeping her drugged up. So she looked as though somebody that was out of sort, that was suffering from certain issues and things of that nature. And they were trying to paint a similar picture to Wendy Williams and going as far as freezing her assets. And then there was rumors that, you know, her husband wants to be an executor of her money and wants to manage her finances. Oh, no, 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 no. You're cheating, ex-husband, really? You got more than what you deserved in the divorce settlement, buddy. Focus on your mistress turned wife and your baby and your alleged restaurant that you're, um, you know having or what have you and keep it moving but leave wendy williams alone and um also wendy williams has a new instagram account so i will link of course in the description box that as well and it is the real wendy williams online all one word literally when i followed her there was like 300 followers and this was literally like 20 minutes ago now it's up to 504 articles even page six did an article based off of this video so this is picking up some steam expect a lot of content creators as well um, to also pick up this story on their pages and give their you know opinions and feedback and everything else on what they think of this video i think this was perfect timing just as people were trying to um, you know, rule her is, you know, unable to care for herself, unable to care for others, unable to do her show. It always seemed sus, like I said, it always seemed like they were trying to use this as an opportunity to take the show away from Wendy Williams. But this completely refutes the narrative that Wendy Williams, you know, is sick and has all of these issues to the point that she can't care for herself, she can't pay her bills, she can't do anything. And her son, you know, seems to be right there every step of the way, right there by her side. It sounds like she's surrounded by a lot of love and support from her family in Florida and is at a point where she is at peace. She is at serenity. She is enjoying the early morning walk that she usually does as part of her normal routine. We're not seeing her, you know, um, you know, with some of the reporting that was saying that she couldn't walk, she couldn't move, she couldn't do this, she couldn't do that. Um, she looks like Wendy Williams. She looks like Wendy Williams, who we all have seen for several years now, um, up and at it. So this will be very interesting to see what happens moving forward. How soon, you know, what's going to be the conclusion of this case? How soon she can get access to her money um, and her finances once again? If she can transfer her millions out of Wells Fargo, that would be even better and have a team around her who truly has her best interest at heart and everything else so that this never happens again. But this is what happens. We just saw this, you guys, with Tasha K. This is what can happen when a lie 
can explode and media outlets pick it up and you know and even all the negative stories that her you know former staff or certain people were trying to put out about her this is what happens when a lie can take a life of, a, of its own to where the bank is stepping in and freezing your money and freezing your assets so very important to always fact check hear from the horse's mouth what actually is happening so this completely refutes all of the negativity that people were trying to say all of the people who are trying to say that there's a new queen in town and all this and that no 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 Wendy Williams is still right here and she wants you to know that she's still right here and that she will be back at 56 years of age to the show that she built on her own back and built her own platform, her own audience and her own following. So, um, you know, so there's that. So, and the followers are jumping as I speak, the more that I refresh her Instagram. So again, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. React, how does Wendy Williams look to you? How soon do you think, do you think she will be back to hosting her own show by the fall? I am curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on that. Or Wendy could be in a position to where she may want to take her show elsewhere. And, you know, have the original staff that she did have, have original black executives. So that way, you know, they are making sure that the show is running according to what Wendy William wants. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell when you're notified so that you can be notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.